If you thought it was colder than normal for spring in BC, you're correct. Being a bit of a tough uh, five or six weeks here with really cold weather, uh, temperature ranging anywhere in the last month between maybe one and a half and three or four degrees below average. Tough on not just us Canadians, but also rising BC's flood risk. This is kind of a, a worst case situation. And maybe the last five years we have had pretty warm April. So everyone's gotten accustomed to having the snow melting pretty early. The snow is still coming up here, increasing the snowpack at higher elevations and causing concerns for experts on the ground. What that does is instead of having the low and mid elevation snow start to melt, it sticks around just a little bit longer. And if a burst of hot weather rolls in for multiple days, then you have all the elevations melting snow simultaneously. That's the worst case scenario if, if all of the melt happens at, at once. If something like that were to happen in the next month in late May or early June, and we were continuing to be cold leading up into that, then, then that's where the risk is for some extreme, uh, extreme melt rates. And then of course, substantially rapid rises in the rivers. A question best suited for the weather experts. Yeah, it is a concern. Uh, I don't want to see it really warming up too, too fast. I don't want to see any heavy rains coming up. But right now for the next 10 days, I don't see any of that. I don't see a really hot period. But there are other high risks for flooding in BC, ones we've seen before. If we get severe thunderstorms on any one of these, well, it can cause problems anywhere. It can cause problems in a normal year, but if it happens to land on a burn scar or one of these areas that have been burned out, it's going to cause problems. Wetter, colder months help in the fight against wildfires for now. To have spring a little wetter is a good thing. We do rely on June rain, so if it dries out in June, or then we could be in trouble yet. So it's not quite over. We need to know what happens in June for fire weather. Bracing for what might come. There are just added risks, and it's it's really just at the, the mercy of Mother Nature now to wait and see what happens. New this year, the emergency alert system will warn about floods and wildfires, but the time to prepare is now. Because we won't have much warning of that. It, the thunderstorms can develop in, in a period of hours, and it, it could be happening. Alana Kelly, Glacier Media, Vancouver.